Hey folks, it's Lindsey Hollis with SPS back in the building at Hold High School. We just had the last and final game of the Moneyball Tip-Off Classic. Great game indeed. Grand Ledge, not too far from home, brought in uh, the Trojans of Saginaw, and it was a great game. I'm sitting here with second-year head coach Luke Charter, somebody that I've had the pleasure of knowing over time. Hard worker, and not surprised that they got the win today. Coach, how you doing? And congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Talk good, about what game. this was like, man. You brought a, a serious Saginaw team down. That team has a program. That team has a history. And um, to kind of bring them down and say, hey, let's match up. You did that. Talk about how you feel about that. No, I feel great about it. That's When I took over as a coach, I wanted to change kind of our, our style. And, and, and being able to play a Saginaw team like that, really, uh, it helps our team grow and, and kind of learn for the playoffs. So testing mm-hmm. ourselves early is really important to me and, and shows for the kids. Yeah, you had a lot of young people showing leadership, but uh, I sat down with Braden James, and what a load he is. Six, eight and a half, had about four dunks, was all over the place getting on the floor. Talk about him and talk about the other players and how they embrace what you have going on at the Grand Ledge Common Culture. Yeah, and uh, Braden is one of our best leaders out here vocally. I mean, he's, he's a hard worker. He's in the gym all the time. Uh, we've got a good group that, that really stay in the gym, and, and he's leading them right now. Um, you know, we had some, some veteran leadership out there with Elijah tonight, and then uh, even Kingston, our freshman, stepped up really big and, and had a good night for us. Yeah, you know, by sitting down with Braden, he embraced so many things that you guys talk about. Talk about creating a culture and also keeping things that have been successful and part of the culture, but also creating your own culture and creating your own way going forward. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's just kind of what we're, we're doing as a team. Um, you know, I, I think that... Uh, these kids have been tested. Last year was a rough, rough year for them, just with everything that had happened. And uh, you know, my goal is to make sure that they're enjoying themselves playing the game of basketball. And uh, you know, we we have to learn each day. And I think that's going to be the most important thing: is be better than you were, be better, better than you were the day before. That's happening. So they got a day off. All I heard them saying, "No practice tomorrow because of the big win." That's a good thing, huh? Uh, we're still going to train a little bit. Let's train a little bit. Yeah, okay. no yeah. practice, but some training. Well, you're doing a great job. Any special shout outs you want to give before we let you go? No, I mean, just the coaching staff tonight. We had a game plan that we, we put together and the kids executed it. Yeah, well, John, well done. Hey, it's been a pleasure getting to know you. I know you could be doing some great things, okay? I appreciate you. All right, with that being said, Lindsay Hills and SBS, we're signing off. We'll see you next time.